Hello. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Archaeology, Janginagar University of Bangladesh, uh, I am just uh, sending our uh, dedication and respect and recollection of Professor S. N. Rajaguru, uh, who is uh, lovingly called by all of us Guruji. I am still in shock and extremely sad uh, knowing the news of his uh, demise and uh, I was just thinking about uh, what should I say as a message uh, when uh, Professor Vishnu Piya Broshak and uh, Dr. Koshik Gangobadhyay asked me to send some messages. So, uh, in fact, uh, it was uh, in nine, 2005 when Guruji first came to Bangladesh. My uh, erstwhile PhD super supervisor, Professor uh, Soyed Muhammad Kamrul Hassan, uh, asked him to come to Bangladesh uh, to uh, advise me and our team on geoarchaeology uh, of the Ganges Brahmaputra uh, Meghna Delta. And he agreed uh, as he, uh, is, he is habitually uh, agrees to do or uh, support uh, his students and uh, all the people who wanted advice, suggestion and help from him. And uh, I can remember uh, we were a team uh, traveling around Bangladesh and uh, from uh, different sites uh, to see the rivers and vast flat plains. And uh, after the brief visit, he again came uh, in 2007 and uh, we were uh, in the real field work in the uh, northwestern part of Bangladesh and he was helping us uh, in my PhD uh, research also and uh, we visited uh, many places and uh, there was a few photographs. We didn't have uh, video cameras at that time so we couldn't be, uh, record uh, some of our uh, very rare and uh, intimate uh, moments uh, during that uh, field visit in Dinaspur and we stayed in a uh, small house and we rented it and we uh, were a team of uh, 10 to 12 people and I can still remember in every morning uh, Guruji uh, woke up at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning and his uh, one uh, request was to give him uh, lal chai, uh, black tea and I saw him uh, writing uh, in his diary the detailed field, field notes uh, of the previous day. I have the photocopies of some of his field notes and uh, at the age of, I think uh, at that time Guruji was 73 and uh, he, uh, he did not hesitate to uh, walk with us uh, mile after mile and uh, he was uh, very excited to see the floodplains and the rivers. And he was very uh, happy to see the team. And he, our students, and some of them are now uh, uh, working as archaeologists in the government department of archaeology, like Afro Zakhan Mita, Saifur Rahman Pauline, uh, Ahmed Sharif, he's a teacher of archaeology now in a private university, Urmila Hasnath, and several other junior students. Uh, they were extremely happy. Uh, to talk to Guruji and Guruji was very happy to uh, see them working in the field and in the house and every day in the evening 
uh, we sat we talked and uh, we talked to each other we talked about the geoarchaeology we talked about uh, the findings of the field and professor sayed mohammad kamrul hasan uh, his favorite hasan uh, was there and uh, it was uh, such memorable days when we just uh, began to understand uh, the complications of geoarchaeology and the understanding of the flat plain dynamics and he was uh, happy and he was uh, curious and he was uh, engaging and he was extremely energetic and most importantly he was extremely humble and this uh, people like guruji uh, has become uh, rare in in the academic research these days we'll never find someone like him again and uh, i can remember uh, when we visited dekan college in on around uh, i think uh, 2008 he again uh, accompanied us to the uh, two different uh, hilly terrains because in bangladesh we don't see the um landscape uh, like the western ghat so he took us to see different kinds of landscape and he always told me that if you do not see different kinds of landscapes you cannot understand the complex processes of geoarchaeology in the past whatever environment it is situated in and again we are extremely honored and humbled to have him in uh, 2013 when we organized a conference and uh, we were able to felicitate him along with uh, professor Arun Nag of Vishwabharati University and he was very happy to find uh, the people the students and us all of us uh, some of our teachers are from Deccan college and they were there um and all of us passed a very happy days very some very happy moments and very happy uh time uh during that conference after that conference when we talked uh, over black tea or coffee and uh these are some moments uh i would like to share a few photos uh, this is in the field uh, on a flat plain and uh, he was also guruji is uh, observing and uh, looking at the section and on the landscape and guruji is engaged with our students uh, on the bank of tulsi ganga river our uh, everyday talk in the field this is the felicitation we could um, manage to uh, dedicate to guruji and guruji was delivering uh, a lecture on the ecology of this delta with professor said mohammad kamrul hasan and with his uh, lovely smile humility kindness and curiosity uh, he never stopped uh, communicating with us we had uh, continuous correspondence with him and most importantly uh, a person like him not only as a scholar or as a teacher or as a mentor or as a uh, as someone who has profound knowledge on alluvial geoarchaeology or geoarchaeology of different landscapes uh, it is uh, the inert kindness inert humility and inert uh, the inherent uh, curiosity and uh, the love and passion for the field which marked him differently uh, from many other uh, people i have met uh, in my life and he was eager to come uh, to bangladesh again when i talked to him over phone and professor ahsan talked to him over phone but uh, unfortunately we couldn't bring him and uh, he always told me that it is in the field that i live 
and he asked uh, he told me that he asked uh, his son and his family uh, to uh, let him go to the field because only through the field work that he can live so the, the this uh, word has uh, in, influenced us so many of us in a uh, very uh, intimate way um, it was a deep very big influence upon, upon us i think uh, because uh, it is he who taught us that uh, we can leave the archaeologist and the geoarchaeologist uh, can live can live their life uh, on the field on the ground not necessarily in the laboratory or in the archives so uh, he will remain with us and uh, he will continue to be with us in our head in our heart and uh, as long as we are alive uh, he will be our guruji and he will be our uh, north star uh, metaphorically uh, if i may say so i would like to thank the organizers of this uh, uh, auspicious occasion and uh, my and our teams uh, respect and love uh, for guruji again thank you very much